It's another morning at Houston High, home of the Mustangs and HNN News. Whether it's the locker room or the classroom, Houston News Network is there. Your go-to source for all high school headlines. HNN News starts now. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Ricky Tran. And I'm Avery Kilpatrick. And these are your morning announcements for Wednesday, February 23rd. This year's yearbook sales will end next Monday, February 28th. If you would like to purchase a yearbook, please go to myschoolbooks.com to order one. Before placing your order, please read all the instructions. The current price is $95. Yearbooks will be distributed on campus on April 29th. Only a small number of books will be available for purchase upon distribution. They will be sold on a first-come, first-served basis on Monday, May 2nd. If you have any questions, please email andrea.cox at gmsdk12.org. Juniors and seniors, if your date to prom does not attend Houston High School, you must submit a prom guest form to Ms. Purcell prior to being able to purchase a prom ticket. The form requires a principal signature and business card or official school seal from the school where your date attends. Forms are available from Ms. Purcell in room A201. Come to M259 during A lunch tomorrow if you want to learn more about welding as a career. You must have a permission from your teachers and pick up a permission slip from the guidance office to attend. Jeff Taylor, a local welder, will speak about a welding apprenticeship of offered by the local Steamfitters Union 614. February is Black History Month, so here's today's H&N Black History Month quote of the day. Never be limited by other people's limited imaginations. Dr. Mae Jemison, first American female astronaut. H&N News will be right back after this quick commercial break. Juniors and seniors, a lot of colleges and universities will be visiting Houston soon. Here's a look at the lineup for the coming weeks. All visits will take place in the college office and you can sign up in Naviance. Due to current social distancing restraints, we can't practice all emergency drills as normal here at Houston. So this video will give you some quick tips on what to do in a real emergency. In case of a tornado, students should follow their teacher in a calm, orderly manner to their designated shelter location. Your teacher will review where your class will go. Everyone should crouch low with heads down, protecting the head and the back of the neck until given the all clear. If there's an earthquake, take cover under the nearest desk or table in the room until the quake subsides. Remember these steps during an emergency to keep you and your classmates safe. Welcome back. Now it's time for the HNN News Word Power Word of the Day. Today's word of the day is salient, an adjective meaning significant or conspicuous. As in, the most salient topic broached by any speaker was the topic of early childhood learning. Try using it today. Students and teachers, will you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? Now, in accordance with the laws of the state of Tennessee, we will observe a moment of silence. Well, that's it for today, Mustangs. Have a great day, and we'll be back with you bright and early tomorrow.